guys, I'm going to review the um, Cedar Summit Quagmire Gators. Um, these these are fantastic. I, I can't say enough about these, but I'll sort of go through all of the um, the bits and pieces. Uh, I'll even put them on because they look really cool and make me look cool. Um, this is just a uh, standard Quagmire. I know that I think you've got the... Um, or is it the Gore-Tex one, yeah. right? Yeah. To be honest, we haven't had these in super heavy rain or anything, so um, these have done everything I've needed. Uh, Rightio. Make sure you put the right one. The correct one on the correct leg. And uh, that's happened before, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is it? I've seen it happen. Anyway. Someone did that. I've heard of it happening. Uh, the fantastic thing about these straps here is that they're actually um, replaceable. That's the strap that goes under the boot. If you're not familiar with um, uh, with gaiters or what they do, they're basically um, protection from obviously sticks, um, rocks, any sort of brush, thicket, uh, thorns, yeah, snakes. Ironically, just when we were setting up um, <laughs> this shot we actually just saw a snake before so I probably should have these on um, okay yeah so that strap there goes under the heel and uh, again like I said that's a replaceable strap so if you do damage it uh, or break it you can just replace it you want to get in tight because I've um, I've got attractive legs and <laughs> and people want to see this There's heavy, um, you get, can you see that? Yeah. There's like a heavy strip of Velcro there. Usually start by just getting that down. There's a little uh, press stud there that locks it into place. Once that's locked in place, they've got this steel loop attached to that tab. And you just pull that over the, uh, the first lace of your boot. So that's basically um, how that all works. Now the way that you know that it's on the right foot is um, that always goes on the inside. Uh, that's just protection against rubbing against the other foot there and that sort of thing. Uh, once these are all velcroed up you've got the uh, tension adjuster there right at the top with Velcro. So, you got to admit that looks pretty cool. Um, there's not much more to say about these Cedar Summit Gators. I'm a really big fan of the brand. They make uh, stuff that they've obviously put a lot of time and effort into testing and building. Um, these are fantastic. Uh, sometimes, occasionally, I'll wear them without long pants like this and they're, they're just as comfortable and uh, if you do have the long trousers on um, they're fantastic over that so um, yeah I can't say enough good things I'll definitely give these a 10 out of 10 cows love them those cows weren't there until I started getting these bad boys out and we've got a whole audience alright see the summit quagmire gators uh, get a pair if you're in any country like Australia where there's um, just a whole bunch of um, bad things. Alright, cheers. Since the filming of this review, we've actually had the opportunity to get these gators out into some pretty heavy rain conditions. We're happy to say they perform fantastically. Although the primary function of a gator is not to keep your boots and the bottom of your legs dry, it tends to do a good job of this until the rain finally gets the better of it. Even when wet, the gators don't become waterlogged in any way. They deflect the majority of the rain even though they're wet to touch. I still give these gators a solid 10 out of 10.